the China budget hotels industry is facing some small challenges, even though it is still a very dynamic market within the China travel and tourism industry. Uh, the China budget hotels market, um, the players saw a huge gap in the market because of such huge growth in potential demand. And so what has happened now is that so many players are now present in the market and these players are also planning to open more new outlets in the future and this may lead to oversupply or saturation in the China budget hotels industry in the next few years. So, so we have players such as um, home inns with over 600 outlets already and still expanding. We have Jin Jian inns um, again with around 300, more than 300 outlets and again um, looking to boost um, its presence. We have Super 8, we have Motel 168, we have Vienna Hotel. The list is endless. There are so many brands competing now that the competition is going to be very intense and it may be difficult for some players to even survive. Currently, the extent of demand for budget hotels in China is very strong. Uh, revenues in 2009 were around 15 US billion um, dollars. This is more actually than the whole of the UK hotel industry in the same year. So you can see how successful it has been. It has mainly been driven by the domestic travel industry. China has a huge domestic travel market and um, domestic travelers um, do not really need um, such high-end accommodation. And so with that, budget hotels have become the most popular place for the 1.2 billion trips being made by Chinese travelers around China. Also, international business trips um, have become a big driver of the budget hotel industry in China, mainly since the global recession kicked in. So since the global economic downturn, business travelers were still traveling around China, but they started to choose conveniently located, but cheaper value for money accommodation. Hence, budget hotels came, were on the scene and uh, appealed very strongly to these business travelers. The next stage of development will be very interesting because there is very strong potential for growth because of the market drivers for the demand, which will help the budget hotels industry. So um, these are the domestic travel industry, uh, which is set to rise even further. We have 1.2 billion trips in 2009, but this is set to grow um, by 50% until 2014. So by that year, we will have 1.9 billion trips being made by the Chinese, which will make it the biggest domestic trips market in the world, actually bigger than the US. The location of the hotel will be a big factor in determining how successful it is in a market which is so competitive. Um, so budget hotels which are conveniently located in good vicinities and in cities where the number of tourists is going to grow significantly will be the ones who will get a guaranteed occupancy rate in the next few years. So Beijing will have seen a 3.4 million international arrivals in 2009 and almost 100 million domestic trips in 2009. Um, this um, will mean that any hotel which is located in Beijing will be guaranteed possibly a good chance of gaining market share within the whole of China if it's situated in such a market like Beijing. Shanghai will be the same. Um, any hotel located in Guangzhou will also benefit from the same location factor um, of many, having many visitors, many potential guests, so to speak. So Jindao, a small seaside town, um, is growing its tourism industry and it's one city to watch out for. Um, it's the location where the Jindao beer, beer factory is and um, it's expected to gain a lot of attention. And this is where um, budget hotels which have opened up there or are expecting to open up there can benefit from.